Experts in religion, chemistry, sustainability, and science fiction formed the Visions of the Apocalypse Symposium, presented by the USF Humanities Institute. Basically, it's about apocalypse, and uh, I guess in some formal way, it's about the Mayan uh, predictions of apocalypse happening real soon now, in 2012. What's important to point out, though, is that uh, these kinds of beliefs have been around for several hundred years, and that not everybody agrees. So it's not like there is one New Age religion, and this is the one thing that's going to happen, and this is the one thing. There's a lot of disagreement, a lot of discussion about it. Nobody really knows how to interpret it. The upper right quadrant of the Tortuguero Monument 6 is said to have caused the doomsday myth. Dr. Wells provides its rough translation and meaning. The 13th calendrical cycle will end on the day for Ao, the third Uniu, and this is the December 21st part, uh, when there will occur blackness, or a spectacle of some kind in the sky, and the god Bolognokte, who has a lot of different translations that we don't understand who Bolognokte is, but we see depictions of him associated mostly with warfare and violence, uh, will come down to the red, or will come down out of the sky, or be displayed in some kind of a great investiture. So this is what you should expect on December 21st, 2012. Know what that means. No one knows what that means. What did the Maya mean by this? The pre-Hispanic Maya? We don't know. But it's the only monument that lists this very specific date with this very specific action that's going to happen. But they didn't say that the world was going to end. Somehow in the popular imagination, this got transmuted from the end of a cycle to the end of the world. And I think that the movie 2012 has a lot to answer for. It was really dreadful and really stupid. And I don't think that's what the Mayans intended. I have written apocalyptic short fiction, but I, but I come up with something that actually would be real under those circumstances. Like an asteroid is gonna come and hit the Earth and they see it coming so they know that it's gonna hit the Earth. That's a different kind of apocalyptic story, of course. Bioengineered pathogen, or even not necessarily engineered, but a pathogen for which we are unprepared that could have the same effect that the Spanish influenza did in 1918 or the Black Death in the Middle Ages. Those are apocalypses that could happen. We had apocalyptic events, perhaps on a narrow scale, but I mean, go and think the chemical, dropping an atomic weapon is a, is a chemical apocalypse. Biologically, we've seen the spread of SARS, we've seen the spread of antibiotic resistance, there's been biological warfare, we've all read. I mean, this started a long time ago. We are overdue, and that's the kind of apocalypse that both frightens and interests me. Of course, we could all be wrong, and there is no afterward, and we all just sort of go bleesh into one big bubble burst. You know, I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs>